I'd say this was the best action adventure series of the 80s, bar none. It was very tongue in cheek in places and very far fetched, but that was the whole appeal of it. I think that was the way it was meant to be. Stephen J. Cannell sure created a hit on his hands here with this A with the A team. He was the funniest character in the A-Team easily. They were a good mixture because Murdoch was the zany guy. He was the one who they always used to break out the asylum. We didn't quite know though whether he was really mad or not but he was always, you know, up for a laugh. And there were, he was of course the hunk of the team. The con artist, the ladies man. He was the hard man of the team. You know, he was always up for a fight, and his um his catchphrase would always be, Hey fool! Or he would say, Hey sucker! What you looking at? I love it when a plan comes together. He'd always say that while smoking his cigar. He was a class act, George Peppard. He was the ultimate hard man leader. He didn't take any prisoners either. Personally, I think this was the best season of the A-Team. I think the storylines were really clever in this season. And some of the action was quite gritty as well. And I think um, the later... Uh, the episodes that that were towards the end of this season too, I think they gradually got darker. We show that this could be a really serious um, series as well as a tongue-in-cheek one. All these discs are pretty much the same really, two discs in each um, set, two discs in each container. This was the fifth and final season, it was quite controversial as well because um, they ended up becoming agents for this guy called Hunt Stockwell. He basically, um, I think he rescued them and he just said to them, I'll get, I'll, I'll exonerate you if you start working for me. It was probably a load of lies, but you know, I think the episodes were still pretty good. There was still a lot of action. I think probably the best episode was the one like where David McCallum reunited with Robert Vaughan, you know, from their Man From Uncle days. You know, not a bad season. It wasn't as bad as everyone thought it was. But by this point, I think Miami Vice had beaten it in the ratings. You know, mainly in America.